G'day legends and welcome back to another edition of That Slot Car Guide News. For a Thursday, we've got something coming from Electric Dreams, a massive auction for slot car mods, a little behind the scenes from SRC and a couple of other things to look at. So let's get stuck in the news for a Thursday. G'day legends and welcome back to another episode and apologies for the audio, it's gone back to being very echoey, you can see behind me it's very bare bones, I have been working day and night trying to get this track up and running, I've sorted out a new idea on how to make it fit in this space, it actually didn't fit but it does now, but we'll get into that in a later video and I am changing the background which is going to be really exciting, but let's jump into the news for today and we'll kick off with Electric Dreams, now if you've noticed this year they've been coming out with a lot of collaboration cars, limited run cars, which I'm excited about that. I think that's really cool for the hobby. But this collaboration, you might have seen some photos already getting around on social media, is with Sideways by Racer. It is a stunning McLaren, a tribute car to Senna. I love the livery, we all do love this livery. A little bit of the Senna love in the bottom hand corner. And whilst we're looking at the photos, I will reel off how extremely rare this car will be. So there is 30 cars available as of tomorrow, 0645 AM, which is the 31st of March, 2023. So 645 AM tomorrow, if you're watching it today. If you're in Australia, it is already tomorrow. Uh, if you want your hands on it, it'll be available then. But this is how it's gonna go down. The first 10 will cost you 149. So if you get one of the first 10, they will only charge you 149. The second 10 goes up to 189. Then the last nine is 229. You're probably thinking that's 29, not 30. Well, if you want car number one, it will cost you 299. Now in regards to pricing, um, I don't really speak much about pricing normally, but it is it is a unique way to price it. It does make it exclusive. Being 30 cars only, I can see why they've done this, but look, it looks beautiful. Again, there's only gonna be 30. Number one will be incredible. But you will have to dig a little bit deeper. So there you go, exciting news, Electric Dreams with Side Racer this time around. And the reason I say that, because upcoming, we will have a car from NSR, Olafar, Hobby Classics, Fly, Model Amp, and Scale Auto. So this is gonna continue throughout the year. Really cool move by Electric Dreams. So sticking with Sideways by Racer, I thought I'll mention a car that I've been waiting for. I haven't seen any updated news on it, but I thought I'll go back in time when the German Toy Festival was here. They released two photos, or three, sorry, 3D images of a car that I can't wait to see. And we are talking about the Porsche 935. Now these are the 3D images that they released during the Toy Festival. They did not attend, it was on their Facebook page. And the reason I'm releasing it, there should have been some more news during March. So I'm hoping we get to see this as a proper mold. I don't know how far along the car is. I have reached out to Sideways. I've sent them a message. I will email them as well to see if we can get some extra news, maybe some snippets. But a beautiful car. There was two cars they mentioned during the Toy Festival. This one really took my interest. The other one was undercover. So I have not much to show you of it. But are you excited for another Sideways? I am. I'm glad they've done a collab with Electric Dreams. I've got a fair few Sideways in my collection. Huge Porsche fan. So if you are watching Sideways, if you can update us, how's this car looking? What liveries are we gonna get? But there you go, another little bit of news from Sideways, which we don't see much of them on my channel. So hopefully we can change that. So let's jump over to Scale Electric, and here is a car that's now being released in Australia. Aussies only, you might be able to purchase this car from your international distributors, but it is an Aussie only released car. And I'm talking about a car that was in my own backyard, Melbourne, Australia. It is the Ford XY351 Falcon by Ford Australia, and it is a Victorian police car livery, which is really cool. Working lights, it's an Australian muscle car. This car is dear to my heart. It is from my hometown, Melbourne, Australia, and Victoria Police is a government organization in my backyard of Melbourne, Australia. So a really cool collector if you're Australian and also if you're a Melbourneian. And it's pretty fitting. We've got the Melbourne F1 Grand Prix this weekend. We've got a nice snippet of a Melbourne car. Do I want this? I do, I really, really do. And yes, I believe those lights will be active. So there you go, one to watch for your Aussies. Buy Scalatric if you do want it and you're international check out your distributors and see if they can get that for you. Uh, but it is an Aussie released only car to our country. I hope they can get it some other way. There you go, one from Scalatry. So moving on to Le Mans miniatures, and we have a Le Mans miniatures to show you. And it is Jean Bugatti, looking very dapper. I love what they do with their cars. 
but the figures look incredible. And I believe this is 132 scale. Uh, I've only got the photo to show you. Jumbagatti looks very, very dapper. Brown on brown with brown socks and black boots. That was the trend back then. We look cool with any of the Lamar miniature cards. If you haven't got one in your collection, they are very highly detailed um, works of art, if I'm being honest. So there, there you go for the miniature buffs, one from Lamar's miniatures. If you like Bugatti, this is perfect right up your alley. If you've got a period correct setup, this might just fit in. So let's check out what's happening at the Scale Auto Camp. Now, I wanna show off how a race is set up and they don't do it any better. Take a look at this, this is Scale Autos. Now I'm gonna butcher this. The 2023 132 scale GT3 Resi Spain 12 hour, 31st, 1st and 2nd of April, of course there's a March date in there. Zala GP PS Vasco. I got all that wrong, but take a look at how they set these races up. Now that is a massive track, but there's not one, there is two massive tracks. Now, we don't get this size in Australia, and I don't think we get this size anywhere much around the world. They do it perfectly by scale auto, and this size of event is pretty normal for them. So I hope we do see this expand out to the rest of the world of this size, like this is huge. Disca does a really good job with massive tracks, but this is incredible. And of course, we've got some of the cars that will be running around the track. So I hope I can pay a visit one day to one of these big events and document for us to watch at home because Again, I don't think anyone does it better. That is a huge event. So a little bit of information of what's happening around the world, what races are going on. We've got the F1s this weekend in Australia. We've also got a massive race happening in the slot car world. So we're visiting SRC, but in a different format today. I have been banging on about the BMW, but I do like showing behind the scenes. And yes, it's already been released. We know it's out in the wild, but I love when they show you video clips of how this stuff is made. And this is directly from SRC, their Facebook page. I'm a big fan of this. I think we should see more of the behind the scenes, how it's being made. I absolutely love it. Look, there's some rims, we've got some tires. You've got the worker assembling the car. Yes, they're hand built or hand assembled, I should say. There's your motor pods ready to go, all your screws. Really cool to see how these come together. So there you go, a little bit of behind the scenes for SRC. I do like to change the news up a bit, give you some new releases, show you some behind the scenes stuff and some events. And I love when companies do this and it's happening more and more often. So a really cool move by SRC. And last but not least, the Legends slot mods. What can I say about this? I want to say this to last. It's a piece of art. It is going up for auction. You would have seen this all over social media for years now. It is an incredible piece of art for the slot car world and for car enthusiasts. And I'm talking about slot mods Porsche 917 Le Mans slot car raceway. Now, it's up for auction. The current bid, from what I can see here, is $75,000 with five days to go. Who knows how high it's going to go. This is incredible for slot mods. It shows exactly what they do. And of course, they've built some epic stuff since this car, car racetrack. And also, it's good for our hobby. Anything that shows a slot car track, whether it's in pure art form or it's in a set form, it's good for us. It just shows that the hobby still exists. The people who don't know that we are doing this. So good luck to slot mods. I believe it's a private auction, so I don't think it's owned by slot mods anymore. If I got that wrong, please let me know, Legends. But this is looking pretty damn good. Will it go over 100K? I think it will, but I'll check back when it's finished and I'll update some news next week. So that's a wrap of this edition of That Slot Car Guy News for a Thursday. We have got plenty going on in the slot car world. Huge race being held by Scale Auto over three days. A massive auction to keep our eyes on, which is incredible. It's a piece of slot car art by slot mods. A really cool collaboration by Electric Dreams and Sideways. I'm so happy that this is happening and there is more to come. I did read the list off, which is exciting. And thank you Electric Dreams for sharing that information directly with me. I really do appreciate that. And everything else in between. Apologies for the background. It will go back to looking prettier. Um, I am working my butt off getting this track up and running. It does now fit. I can confirm it fits. But now getting it up and running is a couple more challenges. But you will see the backdrop change and I have got some awesome stories and ideas and another track in the making. It won't be as big as this and a different scale, but that might be behind me. But watch this space because I'll nut that out with Boons. Me and Boons talk a lot off camera about some of my stupid ideas. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, thank you so much for your support. If this is the kind of stuff you like watching, slot car related, please consider subscribing and sharing the videos. It does help me. I am doing this 
full time at the moment and I am enjoying it so I appreciate all the support and I'm reaching out to a lot of companies to get some more stuff on the channel which we're getting some really really good feedback so cheers everyone for watching. Be safe, take care, support your local, ciao.